confidence of this very thing that he which hath begun a good work in you. See, that personalizes this thing. It's not talking about the work of God universally. But now Paul is addressing the fact that every believer has in them a good work. Just look at somebody and tell them, God started something in you. Yeah, he started something in you. And it may look iffy like that. It may look as if there's some things going. As a matter of fact, I'm confident of this. If it looks contrary to what he said, and that's a good indication that he did say it. He's just giving the enemy an opportunity to do what he... See, listen, every word he's spoken, God gives the devil a chance to try that word. Because God sits in a sovereign seat and he understands that nothing he says can it be ever changed. And so he enjoys watching the enemy trying to convince you that he changed his mind. But when your hope is built on the word of God and your confidence is in Jesus, then you too can begin to enjoy the process. Somebody tell your neighbor, I'm enjoying this process. Pastor, folks owe me some money, but I'm enjoying this process. I got some stuff that I need to recover, but I'm enjoying this process. I'm waiting on some things, but I'm not waiting in this day. I really do enjoy this. I'm enjoying this. I don't have no witness. I'm enjoying this. I am. I'm enjoying the process. Listen, he that has begun a good work where? Some of y'all ain't said nothing. Where's the good work? Holler at somebody and tell them it's in you. God Almighty, if you can keep your mind with me about 30 minutes, I believe we'll get this breakthrough. Listen, he that has begun a good work in you. Look at the word, everybody, because I don't want you to ever again not understand what he's saying. Will. Which means that he started it, but there is another element to it. What he started. What he started was intentional. What he started didn't just happen by mistake. The enemy has something you believe in that you just happened into some things. And that's why it didn't last. You know, that you just happened into some money. God really wasn't trying to bless you. The devil is a lie. It was God's will that you possess everything you have been a possessor of. There are no mistakes in God. Nothing happens by chance or happenstance. Nothing just is an occurrence that somebody threw together. No, all of this is God's will. Look at the neighbor and tell them, I'm comfortable because I'm in his will. Uh, anybody know you're in his will? I, I'm not, you're not here today trying to second guess what his will is for your life. His will for my life is clear to me. And I'm so glad storms don't change my mind about his will. <laughs> oh my God. Bishop Johnson, C.O. Johnson from South Carolina preached so wonderful Friday night about storms that will come. Storms that are inevitable. You cannot be great and not endure hard trials. But the word admonishes us to learn how to endure hardness as what? A good soldier. Look at somebody tell them a good soldier doesn't complain. I'm tired of complaining, folks. As a matter of fact, can I tell y'all something today? I'm tired of folks who always have something negative to say. That stuff will wear you out. If you sit up under negativity all day long. It will wear you out if every one of your friends are as pitiful as you are. It will wear you out if everybody in your house is sad. My God, help us here. I'm tired of negativity. It's wearing some of you out. If it's got you trying to wear out, yeah, I guess it is bad. You know, if you talk to them long enough, you can, you can turn a good thing. Lord, help me, you can turn a good thing into a tragedy if you talk bad long enough. Listen to the word. I'm about to finish. 